So what's up? What's the deal, guys? Welcome to JA News. It's up. Salute to you for tuning in for today's show. We're talking upcoming sneaker releases. Of course, we're recapping today's big Yeezy draw results. And if you happen to take an L, don't panic. As we head into the weekend, I'm gonna continue to preview next week's Yeezy releases. And I got great news because it looks like we got more slides and foam runners on the way. So stay tuned for all of that, plus more. And it's coming right up next so let's head into the weekend the right way make sure you guys help me out by smashing the like button so to kick things off of course after i wrapped up filming yesterday's episode we were all kind of waiting around for the draw results of the somewhat surprising release of the 350 v2 red stripe and i was expecting to see a lot of w's you know in the comments based off the fact that this is now what the uh third time that adidas has dropped these and i felt like a lot of you guys had success on this release you know last year for yeezy day but this go around apparently not so it's either that adidas didn't make enough pairs of these or maybe the botters like just feasted on this release or it could be that this release is just that good that they've now kind of reached quintessential yeezy status and what i mean by that is pairs that every time adidas makes them they sell out every time like no matter how many times they drop them they sell out every release so we're talking pairs like the 700 v1 wave runner pairs like the 350 v2 zebra you know pairs that kind of when you just think of yeezy these are the sneakers that come to mind so was the 350 v2 red stripe a quintessential yeezy or was it just that for this release, Adidas just didn't drop enough pairs? And as far as today's releases, we had the big draw results for the Yeezy slides and foam runners via the confirmed app. So go ahead and spam all of your W's in the comments. It seemed like there were a good amount of pairs of these to go around, but at the same time, it's never easy to cop foam runners or slides. So salute to everybody that took a w now when it comes to the colorway for these foam runners i was a little bit off i apologize guys i was expecting to see somewhat of a like a faint mx pattern but it looks like easy god on twitter he went ahead and posted uh, the first look at these and apparently you have another one of those like easy colorways that's somewhere in the realm of like a creamish almost gray but a real light colorway so hopefully when you guys get your pairs in you know everybody will post pictures so we can get a better understanding of what these joints actually look like now when it comes to the slide slate marine i found this image which is awesome it kind of compares all of these darker tone easy slides and of course with the slate marine colorway you know they're coming in with somewhat of like a more greenish hue to them but then again this is in perfect lighting i'm expecting these to you know almost look just like the onyx but then you know when you're probably in direct sunlight you know you can kind of see that slate marine colorway so let me know how you guys did once again it's never easy to cop foam runners or slides so salute to everybody that took a w but then on the other hand for all of our brethren in the community that took a l don't panic because we got more foam runners and slides dropping next week so stay tuned i'm going to be giving you guys a little preview of next week's drops but first we got a couple of more quick updates and we got a release date for new balances brand new silhouette the warped runner which will officially be releasing coming up august 16th so we've discussed this pair a few times here on this channel i think this sneaker is cool so now that we got the official release date let me ask you guys are y'all feeling these joints are you looking to grab these next week? Expect later down the line to see a whole bunch of different colorways for this model release and retail is coming in at 140 bucks. And Nike has revealed their new Calm Mule. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we got three color offerings and Nike, they're gonna be following up their success to their Calm Slide, AKA the stiff Yeezy knockoffs, but nah, in all seriousness, I'm a fan of this design. I feel like they don't look bad and I would much rather see the kids rocking, you know, pairs like this over the Panda Dunks all the time. So you gotta appreciate the direction that footwear is heading into. So salute to the Yeezy Vision. Now, right now we have no release date or pricing, but I'm a fan of this more like affordable footwear. So stay tuned for more updates on the Calm Mule. So Nike held a special Sneakers Live presentation where they officially unveiled the upcoming Kobe Pro Tro 8. Now, we already knew about this pair, which will officially be releasing alongside apparel, but what we didn't know is that Nike will continue the Halo series, releasing various Pro Tro models, and the Halo series will officially be an annual release where we're gonna get a different drop every year for Kobe's birthday 
823. So let me know what you guys think about this. It looks like Nike will be keeping Kobe's legacy alive, but at the same time, you know, banking for Kobe releases to be a big part of Nike basketball. So it looks like we're going to see a lot of upcoming Kobe releases. Let me know what you guys think about this and let's go ahead and get back into these easy updates so after the weekend of course we got monday's confirmed raffle to look forward to so you got the 350 v2 granite dropping as well as the 500 boots now if you guys have been kind of on the fence about picking up either of those releases of course you got the whole weekend to kind of think it over but make sure you enter the raffle before monday's draw results now when it comes to both of these pairs i feel like the 350 v2 granite should be pretty easy to grab i feel like everybody that enters that raffle should have good success but when it comes to those 500 fire starters that one may be a wobbler we'll see how popular these are come monday you know they're coming in with that 300 dollars price tag a little steep for some and we've had a whole bunch of easy drops already for the month of august so when it comes to me i feel like i've kind of had a love hate relationship with this pair you know when we first saw the images of them i felt like they were oh they were okay I wasn't a huge fan, but then in typical hype beast fashion, as they started to pop up more and more, I felt like I had to have them. But now that the draw is actually live, I felt like, you know, is there ever gonna be an occasion where I rock the 500 boots over these right here, the season four? I really can't think of an occasion where I would rock those over something like these so we'll see if i enter the raffle as i mentioned you know i got the whole weekend to kind of think it over so we'll see if uh, ja goes ahead and enters that raffle for the 500 boots now again as i mentioned earlier if you guys had took an l on today's slide or foam runner release do not panic because coming up next week for phase three of these august easy releases we got more pairs releasing so when it comes to the foam runner this colorway is going to be called stone taupe i believe and again you know when it comes to yeezy foam runner colorways we're getting something that's going to be in the realm of like a tan colorway but then again we got to wait till people actually get their pairs in to see how they actually look so another great foam runner and then when it comes to these slides we have the uh, slate gray pair so another you know 50 shades of gray type of pair similar Similar to the Onyx, I believe a slightly lighter shade, but who's telling, man? Everybody loves the foam runners and slides. So again, these should be, you know, some of the highlights of next week, including the 950 boot and the 700 v1 utility black so we got a lot to look forward to it's been a crazy week you know not to mention a crazy month so uh, be on the lookout for monday's upload of ja news we're gonna wrap things up right here but i want to wish you guys a great weekend and i'll catch you guys next time so salute stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all love